Ambassador, let's start with you. I'm trying to read the tea leaves through every one of these reports that we get. What, what's your feeling about how likely a deal is? Well, having, having been in that room before with the Chinese, um, the deputies are working now to try to see if they can get the parameters of a deal that position something that could potentially be a truce. Um, the impact on both of the economies is obviously uh, hard and tough at this point. Um, there is no way that we will get a major deal with the China this week. Uh, but they're trying to see if they can set that up so they can keep a momentum back in place and moving forward. And so my guess is that we may see the outlines of a truce, but we are a long way from dealing with the fundamental problems, which is are the ones that the U.S. identified when they started this uh, a, a, year, a year or more ago. Ambassador, that's very interesting that you think the best case scenario is, is that we get to a detente so to speak. Um, it, what, what does that mean if the president decides to go ahead with tariffs uh, in, next week? Uh, what, what happens next? Or you think well, that, that has to be pulled off the table in order for that truce to be met? No, I, I, I don't actually think it has to be pulled off the table. I mean, we already have $550 billion of imports from China that are subject to tariffs up to 25%. Mm -hmm. um, there will be some going up to 30%. You know, that in and of itself is not so significant in light of the tariffs that the U.S. is already paying. Um, it's meaningful, but it, 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 in the broader scope, it's not significant. What's the toughest issue here is at the heart of the U.S. concern is we want U.S. technology firms and other firms, but particularly U.S. technology, to have better access to the Chinese market at fair terms that allow us to compete. At the same time, we've been pulling back for a lot of legitimate reasons on access by Chinese firms into the U.S. market. So we've actually set ourselves up. The underlying problem was difficult, but we have compounded that. And that is at the heart of what the U.S. has to get at this at the end of the day. And that's why I say it remains elusive and it will be tough to get there. But now that we've started down this road, we have to get there. Stephen, you know the, the Chinese mindset very well. What, what do you think that they're expecting heading into this? What do you think the best potential outcome is? Well, Becky, what is a deal? Is a, is a truce a deal? Uh, or is a deal really going after uh, the issues of intellectual property rights, forced technology transfer, uh, allegations of uh, subsidies to state-owned enterprises, uh, and the like? Uh, the administration has insisted that that's where the rubber meets the road uh, and a truce that just um, uh, welcomes China to buy a few more soybeans but kicks the can down the road on these tough issues. That's not a deal. That's just uh, face-saving and um, hoping that, you know, a brighter day will come at some point. I think the Chinese um, uh, are uh, unwilling uh, to uh, uh, come up with a better deal with all the additional uh, pressures that have been uh, launched in recent weeks over, um, you know, blacklisted companies, with visas, capital controls, delisting. Uh, the U.S. has escalated a lot, and uh, I don't think China is going to swallow that nearly as easily as this report overnight seems to suggest. Meaning you don't even think a truce is, is on the table? Look, they'd like a truce, um, and, and, you know, who knows what um, is going to happen uh, tomorrow, but uh, a truce should not be equated with a deal. A deal is resolving tough issues, uh, and uh, a truce may buy us time, but the, the prospects for resolving these tough issues, as the ambassador just alluded to, are close to zero this week, uh, and if anything, the aggressive actions that the United States has taken uh, in, in recent days, I think, um, uh, underscores that point. Ambassador, in speaking with some technology CEOs, they say that no matter what happens, whether there's a deal reached, whether there's a truce reached, whether nothing comes about with any of this, that, that the die's already been cast, that they are looking for other places for their supply chains, that they are not interested in putting any additional infrastructure into China, that they are looking very quickly and... and, and, and uh, and to try and find any other way to find other places for that supply chain. Is it, what does that mean for China after all of this? Well, a lot of companies are looking for alternative places for their supply chain. 
But fundamentally, that's actually a short-term question for what's underlying the trade dispute. What's underlying the trade dispute is that U.S. technology firms want to do business in China for Chinese customers and to expand their race. That's what we've been largely denied. And so that's the issue. It's not as much about the supply chain, although that's important in the short term, but it's can we compete in that market and can we be part of that growth long term? And that is where I completely agree uh, with, uh, with Stephen, that the chances of getting that um, are a long way off. And a truce is not a trade deal, but a truce could help us get back on a path to better discussion.